sorry guys the video got cut off um all i did is i've put um double sided um tape to tape to um stick the corners down and if if this decides to come off that would be nice um okay there we go and just put the top here uh this corner here and now this one great and this one down here and as you can see this is looking really 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 nice and i love the gold around it now what i want to do is i want to add my little uh, label um that is in front this part here i want to do this now just want to find it I have it somewhere here but there you go I found it but I just want to make it a little bit um smaller so I'm just I'm gonna roughly cut this and on this side and then a little bit at the bottom as well add a little bit of glue and put this on top like that and then a little bit of glue and just add this on top up work fantastic and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add one of these little um, uh, petal flowers and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there. Okay, I'll just spread it out with my finger. And then just attach it, attach it there. And I need my flat, my little flat pearl as well. And I just put that there too and this is this is how it looks like and now what I want to do is just, is just I want to use my blade just to score a little um, line here so I can put my um, I would not know how to call these eyelets I'm not really sure it's one of them I'm not really sure how they are um, cold um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna score using the envelope that i had here i'm just gonna score just there in the middle just like that very simple that's it and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little um, the eyelet on there I just want to oh, I want to open the sides just to make sure that I can do that later okay that's it so all I'm going to do is I'm going to push that through just like so
Tilly goes on the other side. Okay, I think I've done it. Yep. Yeah. So here we are now on the other side. And what I want to do is take the, the purple um, seam binding that I have here and just cut some. So I can have for like both um, both sides. I just roughly do it. I don't really measure. And then all I do is I push it in there like that. It comes through. Then I'll try to open it with my... Um, tweezers that's it and then I'd like to push it down like that and this is what I want to add on there um, um, this time I think I'm gonna add this piece here but to make it much safer i'll add a little bit of glue although it's quite sticky but I'll, I'll, I'll add a little bit of glue and just um stick it down like so and this is how it looks guys and now the next thing i want to do is I want to add the envelope um, on this side so first I'm gonna go ahead and stain it and I need my uh, golden ink as well Just makes it stand out a little bit more if it's stained. I think that will work better. Yes, that's better. And a little bit there. And that's it really. And now I need to take my um, golden and do this with my finger that's the best way it works can you see the the, see, the, the shimmer on it I hope you can see that it just gives it a little bit more shine which is nice and now all I need to do guys is take my double sided tape and put it here at the back I find that double sided tape is very strong so I um, I use it a lot okay so let's go ahead and take this off now it's a little bit of a fiddly job, but it's worth it in the end. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And this one. And this one. Do it the other side. Oh, this is not gonna work. Come on, yeah, that's it. Right, so I just wanna twist this round. 
so we're going to put this right here and just stick it down fantastic and now we can go ahead and do our uh, collaging with some coffee dyed paper and our uh, and our image which I think I'm gonna use this one here I just want to cut the edges I, I want to have this rough looking edge that's it mm -hmm. that's lovely and all I need to do now is use my ink to stain it all around and I want to use this paper so all I need to do is cut there and maybe like cut just a tiny bit the sides and I think that is perfect I'm gonna stain the the coffee dyed paper a little bit as well Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of glue, that's it, and then I'm going to spread it out. And put the coffee dyed paper first. And then... A little bit more for my vellum image. How are you liking this, guys? It's coming out really nice. I really like the way it's coming out. It's very, very nice. I find that vellum really curls when you try to stick it down. So I have to press it down quite firmly um, a few times. So this is it now, that's fine. That's great. And now what I want to do is I want to create the coffee dyed paper pages for uh, um for this uh, side. Um I think I had my coffee dyed paper somewhere here with me if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see roughly, um, okay, so if I cut there, if I cut somewhere here, okay. So this is roughly the same, so it's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. And then just roughly cut it with my hand and do the same with this as well.
and again and once more and now I'm gonna put them all together like that and all I need to do just measure where exactly I want it I need to cut a little bit from the top because all I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold once the top here and then twice so I have this um, top bit to hold all the papers together and all I need to do now is go ahead and put some glue just there nice and simple nothing to complicate it and press it down just like so and here at the back I'm going to put some um, double uh, side tape and one more Okay, and now just take them off. And put it right here. Okay. Okay, and now all I want to do is, because I don't want it to be too long, I just want to cut down the bottom of the pages a little bit just a tiny bit not a lot that's it This is looking really nice. And obviously what I forgot to do is I have to glue down some of these um, papers so they're all steady. Obviously you fold it but you have to glue so they don't come apart. And the last page and we are fine and all I need to do now is attach sorry I moved my camera again all I need to do now is put my little um, fabric uh, like trim on top the same I have used for for the other um, altered envelope I'm just gonna cut down a little bit and measure to the so okay we there that's great I just want to trim this a little bit here that's it nicely done and then put some wet glue on top here and attach my ribbon just gonna trim it a little bit here that's it and then just attach the ribbon on the top like that and 
and as you can see it's all done and now what I want to do is choose a butterfly oops I dropped something choose a butterfly um, I'm not sure maybe this one um, or maybe I just go like for a like pinkish one this one yep just to bring it out a little bit because we've got lots of blue so it doesn't really matter if we put a little bit of pink um i like mixing colors so that would look lovely on there okay so here we go i'm gonna put it this way that's it and then press it down with my little fabric cloth that i have okay and one thing that i did wrong which i think we can correct it's i want to add I want to add the rest of my uh, seam binding on this side but obviously I've put the envelope on there already but I can fix that is not a big problem um, so it's just about there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it slightly and what I'm going to do is put some glue there inside there just a tiny bit that's it and put the seam binding in there and press it down that's all I have to do really as I said before it would be, should it would be really really nice if I had a um, if I could sew and do this like that but obviously I don't so it doesn't really matter this when it dries it will be strong enough so I just want to check if I've done everything and I haven't missed something that I haven't done with you guys um, I think it's all finished but I need to uh, now stain it all around with my ink and it will be um it will it will be done so let me just go ahead and stain this all around i feel when I, when i ink things they just look finished it's just one of these things that i already i always thought when i um finish a job a crafting job it always gives it the finished look anything that you create it gives it the finish the finished look so i'll go from the inside now as well and ink that as well mm -hmm. that is looking really nice and maybe I can go through and just ink the edge of the pages here as well. Okay, so guys, I think this is it. We have created our fold out envelope. So we have two pretty um, window envelopes. Um, now, one thing I wanted to do is, before I 
finish this video is I want to add the seam binding on this as well because I really like the way this one has turned out. So I'm going to go ahead right now and do it with you guys before I say bye bye. Mm, okay, just like there. Okay, just add a little bit of glue. Okay, adjust it, like spread it all the way out. And now put the seam binding on top. Just make sure that it glues, glues nice and strong. And I think that looks a lot better actually. I actually think it looks a lot better like that. So here we are guys. We have created two lovely window envelopes for our uh, two floral junk journals. Just want to show you again the one that we have created together. With the lovely coffee dyed uh, pad. 